My name is still remember Ruti. So on this video, I'll be cutting a long gown wrapping dress. It's a long gown wrapping dress, kind of gown, but it, the front has a wrapper shape. It's, kind, it's gown, but looking at it, you will think there is two wrapper. But well, just gone with front wrapping dress. So I'll be using this judge material on it. So this is the material. I just folded it into two. So the full length of the gown I'm cutting is 60. 60. Then my half length, the half length is 17. 60 minus 17 will give me 43. So on the 43, I will add one inch sewing allowance, making it 44. 44. So this is the 44. to my hip I will use nine inches to get the hip then the down part the hip the hip measurement is 40 40 divided by 4 will give me 10 plus 2 inches sewing allowance which is 12 My waist, the waist measurement is 32. 32 divided by 4 will give me 8 plus 2 inches sewing allowance, which is 10. So I'll cover it using freehand. Then the down part. My hip is 10. My hip is 4 divided by 4, which is 10, plus 2 inches sewing our allowance. So I'll bring down the 12, my last 2, or my last 2 from this 12, giving me 10. So to the, to the down part, I'll mark 10. So I'll connect this 10 to the hip. You can use your ruler if you have a, a ruler to mark it. But for me, I'm using freehand. So this is it for the skirt. I hope you're seeing it. This is the waist by hip. I get my hip with nine inches. This is the hip. And this is the down part. So right now I'll cut it out, use this front one to trace out the back, adding my zipper allowance. This is for the front. I'll use it to trace out the back. So I added one and a half inch for my zipper allowance. You can add two or one inch if you like. You just a choice. So for me, I'm okay with one and a half inch. So for now, this is the the front and the back with zipper allowance. So I'll cut my zipper open. I'll slit it open.
so I have cut it open. This is the front and this is the back. Then I will use it to, to cut out the lining. After tracing out the lining, then we will move to the upper part. So right now I've cut out the lining. This is the lining for the front skirt. So I will I will use the lining to turn it off. This is the back. I've already cut out the lining. This is the lining. So we we'll move straight to the upper part of the dress. So I'll to cut out the upper part we are cutting off shoulder up shoulder then up shoulder then So to get my off shoulder, I'll do my loss five. You can do my loss six if you want, but me, I'm cutting my loss five. So the half length is 17. 17 plus one inch sewing allowance, making it 18. So I'll place my tape like this. This is my loss five. This is my loss five. You can do my loss six if you want. But I'm doing my loss five. So from the five, I'll get my 18 inches. So this is my 18 inches. 18 inches. Then from that five, I'll get my bust. My bust is nine. I'll mark my nine. <laughs> to get bust measurement is nine inches. So this is my waist, the upper part, my bust. And this is the down part. So my shoulder measurement is 16. 16 divided by two will give me eight. Then my under bust, under bust is 13. My bust point is nine and a half. But rather I'll mark 12 and a half. My under bust is 12 and a half. This is 12 and a half. And my boss point. Is nine inches. So to the center I will mark my nipples to nipples measurements. Is eight. Then I'll add extra half inches for sewing around. So eight divided by two will give you four. You see I fold this material into four. Four plus half inches, making it four and a half. I'll mark the four and a half down. You will make you will make sure you measure your nip the person nipples to nipples measurement. So you can be able to get the accurate measurement you will use. So this is four and a half, four and a half. Then I'll come to this upside, I'll mark one inch. I'll come to this side, I'll mark one inch. So this is my boss point. This is my boss point. I'll connect this one inch to the boss point. I'll do the same to the other side. Then the down part, I'll mark the both side one one inch, one one inch. Sorry.
I've done that. So I'll connect this one inch to this point point. So it is already giving me the curve I need. Then to get the arm hole, this is my shoulder. To get the arm hole, I might lost one inch here, one inch here, making it two inches. I'll put this two inches. Plus extra two inches sewing allowance, making it four. And this is my then my both circumference is 38. 38 divided by four will give me will give me nine and a half. This is nine and a half plus that four inches I added here. I'll add it up here to giving me giving me thirteen and a half. So I'll get my arm hole from here. This will serve as my arm hole. Then my waist measurement is. 32 divided by 4, which is 8 plus 4 inches, giving me 12. So, this is it. I hope you understand what I do. I'll cut it out. But if you don't want, you can still leave this measurement and cut it straight. Like me, I'll be cutting it straight. Why I'll be cutting it straight is after sewing it, then I can give it the curve needed. But I just mark it for you to understand what I'm saying. I added my two inches. The two inches I my lost from here, plus one inch sewing allowance. So I'll be cutting. I'll be cutting my straight. After sewing then, I'll trim it up. center is up. So this is it. Let me know. So this is it. When I open it, I'll place one of it on top of each other. And so, you see the launch, they are both together. I saw it like this. This is boss padded. It's boss padded uh, dress. I'll put the padded at once. But I will do all these things. Yeah. Remember to get my off shoulder, I do my loss five. That's what I'm doing here. My last five. Then my half length is seven eighteen plus sewing allowance. But at the back I will be cut I will be marking seventeen because I don't want to have a, a bulge at the zipper part. So my loss in this one inches will make it to be very straight and not fold. So my loss one inches, so I'll be marking seventeen instead of eighteen. First measurement is nine, nine inches.
My first, the first circumference is 38. 38 divided by 4 will give me 9 and a half. Then I'll be adding 1 and a half inches for zipper allowance. Let me mark that one out different. 1 and a half inches for zipper allowance. One and a half inch. This is the one and a half inch for the zipper allowance. So I'll put my both circumferences, which is nine and a half, plus two inches sewing allowance, giving me twelve and giving me eleven and a half. Sorry. Then my waist is thirty-eight divided by four, will give me eight plus two inches allowance, giving me ten. Then, then I'll be adding extra one inches for that. You know, I'll put that to the down part, which will give me 11. So I'll connect. My shoulder is 16 divided by 2, will give me 8. I'll come in word by one inch. I'll come in word by one inch. From this one inch, I'll connect the armhole. This is the armhole. This is the zipper allowance. Then, I want the, uh, the back to go down. So I'll come in by one inch. One inch. So I'll give it a C curl. So this is for the back. I measured the off shoulder and I lost five inches, giving me 17 instead of 18 because I lost one inch to the down for, for the zip to be very straight. Then from the my lost five, I get nine. I put my bust circumferences, my waist circumferences, then my zipper allowance. So this is it, I'll be cutting. So this is for the back. This is for the back. I'll use this thing, this lining to trace out the new material. Why I use lining to cut this is because the material is neat. The material I'm using for the upper part is the neat, not the judge the neat on it. So I prefer using the lining to cut to cut it, then trace it out with blades. So I will show you once I trace it all out. So right now I just use the lining to trace out the, the main material. This is the center part there. This is for the back. Each of them has its own. And this is for the front. So I will, I will gum it. I'm using gum. I will gum it on it. Then we we'll move down to the down part, the wrapper uh, part. I will turn off the skirt and show you how to cut the down part. This is the skirt. I turn it off. This is the lining. See the lining I use on it. Satin. Some call it thick bread, depending what you call it. This is the front, yes, and this is the back. You know, we are working on gum. This is the upper part. I've attached the upper part of the back. I've also attached the zipper. And I've turned it up with the line. So this is all. This one is the padded. I've joined the pad and I've turned it up with the, with the lining. I hope you see. It. So right now we we'll move to the damp part. I will be cut, showing you how to cut the wrapper on top of the skirt. So this is the skirt. So 
I will measure the full length I have on the skirt. I have 44. On the down part, 44. In the down part. So, I don't want the wrapper to be too short. I don't want it to be too long. it i'll prefer this length this is the skirt and this is the wrapper length so after the whole measurement i might lost 17 inches from the wrapper to get the length i want so 47 44 minus 17 we have about 32 inches or 33 inches so that's what i'll be using so let me cut out the wrapper. So from the full length of the judge, I'm, I'm my loss is 17 inches. Now I've cut out the wrapper. So this is what I have. This will be on top of the down part. The length of the skirt, I mean the down part from half length to the down is 44. Why the length I use on the wrapper is 32. 32 I use. So I now lost uh, 17 inches getting 32 so all i have to do is i'm just finished sewing the clothes i've joined everything this is the sleeve so this is the wrapper side this is for the wrapping you see how it falls down. So this is everything. This is the damp parts. And this is the back. This is the zip. The slit. This is it all. And the wrapping side. So right now I'll I'll put it on a dome. I don't know what's wrong with this, so I'll change the music. I'll fix it on a dome. This this side. I turn everything off. I'll fix it in a dummy and show you for you to see the final outcome. I've already cut out the wrapper. Looking at it. You know, the wrapping side will be at the left. When you are tying wrapper, normally in Evo land, it used to be at the left, not at the right. So I place this one here. This is the right side of it. Then, this is the right side of it. Right side of the gun. So I'll stitch this one here. I'll stitch it all straight. I'll use it to, as in, I will measure the skirt, the, the skirt, I will put the skirt measurement, then stitch it. This one will go inside. Then, this is the wrapper side of it. This is the length. I didn't use much length. Let me measure the length I use. I use about...
I use about 46 inches. I don't want it to be too long. So all I need to do now is to add it up so that you see it. So this is the right side and this is the left side of it. So I'll stitch them. Then I'll attach the upper part of it. After doing that, I will now take this one inside. I'll take this one inside, close this side with the back of the gun. After closing it, I'll now bring this one out and run a stitching on top of it, giving me the design. So after sewing that, I will show you.